Good morning, Babylon. It's another edition of Daily Edification, Daily Exhortation, brought to you by the Spirit and Power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. All praises and glories definitely do, especially in these times. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Elm Millstone who have taught me this truth and who keep me in this truth. And Lord willing, I am one of the elect, because I know they are. <laughs> it's just point blank, period. All right. Trusting in Egypt. Now, when the shit hits the fan, and we all know what's coming, we can feel it. We've gone to the stores. We've asked, why are the shelves empty? We've gone to the dollar stores, and we've seen how they get in only water and detergent for like two weeks. We've seen how the prices of food have gone up. We feel the tension in the air. Less food, still higher prices. The Bible says those who go down and trust in Egypt are going to be destroyed and put to shame. So, we know it's coming. The dollar is going to collapse. And when it does, those ones who trusted in Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadosh, because the name is a strong fortress, a strong tower, protection. Those are going to be taken care of. Those are going to be protected. They're going to have food. They're going to have drink. They're going to have shelter. They're going to laugh. They're going to be merry. You, who do not trust in the Lord, and who weren't doing the work, will not eat, will not drink will not be joyful. You will be sorrowful. You will cry. The Lord will not hear you because when he called you, you did not answer. You didn't hearken to the Lord. And here's the thing about hearkening to the Lord. I try, uh, I'm not trying to make it about me, but my fear makes me hearken to the Lord about everything. Just, just hint to me, Lord. Just hint to me what I should do on all my decisions, my big decisions. And you know, sometimes I think I'm making the wrong decision. It turns out to be right. You know, uh, I, I desperately seek words from the Lord. Just the Lord talks to you in dreams. The Lord talks to you in numbers. The Lord talks to you with things that are on your mind. People will come up and say something out of the blue will be exactly what you were thinking about or talking about or what you saw that day. It would confirm it. It would verify it. Now, the dollar is going to collapse. All hell is going to break loose. Let's say you have some money right now. Okay, you're worried. You had not been doing the work. You had not been trusting the Lord. You had not been seeking the Lord. You haven't been... Um, haven't been, you've been wicked. Let's just say it, you've been wicked. When the hell breaks loose, all shit hits the fan, women, they're going to get it the worst because they've trusted in Esau. They have tied their knot with Esau, Edom, Babylon the Great. They have fused a covenant with Esau. As long as Esau is, they are elevated, they are well, they are well taken care of. They do not need us Israelite men, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They don't need us. They can do without us. They're they're self-made. They're self-made. Prideful. Shit hits the fan. All that's going to change. Those women, they're going to be looking for those chosen men. Those elect men. They're going to be crying to the Lord. The Lord's not going to hear them. See, a woman is saved. Oh, let's start at the beginning. Yahweh, his son, he is the head. Yahweh is the head. Yahweh Shai is under his father. Yahweh Shai saves the elect, 144,000, and the remnant. Okay? The elect men, the 144,000, save the women. A woman is saved through her husband, through her man. Okay? All these women going around saying, I'm married to Christ. Jesus is my husband. Yeah, that's out the window. That name, profane, out the window. That's They're done. They are done. Everybody walking around saying, I'm saved. The Lord saved me. I'm born again. I'm saved. Jesus has saved me. No, they're done. They're done. 
whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The elect men of Israel are calling upon the name of the Lord, the sons of God, the sons of Yahweh. And those ones who do not call upon the name of the Lord, and who have not hearkened, who have not done the work, who have behaved wickedly. Let's say hey, one point in time, you know, we were all wicked. We were all wicked, but we had to change. We had to change. We had to try our hardest to the best of our ability to conform to the words of the law, to the words of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh, to conform our bodies, our deeds, our thoughts, our ways, to conform to conform to our husband, to conform. When a man and a woman come together, the woman, the man seed goes into the woman and she conforms to the husband. She does not resist. She humbles herself. We have humbled ourselves to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. We have humbled ourselves. We are his wife. We are his bride. We are his woman. He fights for his woman. If you are not his woman, he will not fight for you. Okay? your prayers will not be heard. So let's be real clear. When the shit hits the fan, if you haven't been calling upon the name of the Lord, you haven't been searching for the Lord, you haven't hearkened to the Lord, take the last bit of your money and go buy a shovel because you'll be in deep shit.